Everybody, welcome. I am Brother Ozana David. Welcome. This is Igwa Yopna. Uh, in case you're new, please subscribe to Igwa Yopna and also BS Purity TV. And visit my website, igwayopna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I come to you today with a very heavy heart. And please, if you're watching this message, please share this message in any platform on Christian groups, please share this message. Uh, this message is for the body of Christ. Please share it. My heart is heavy. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 25 says, they shall not hurt on part B of it. Says they shall not hurt nor destroy on all my holy mountains. There's a lot of destructions. There's a lot of backbiting, rumor mongering, poisoning, uh, division in church today. Not the devil coming with, coming with black teeth and horns, dark skin and ugly face, but these things are happening among believers, people who put on white and come to the church as believers, as those worshiping the living God in spirit and in truth. There are so many people today who are in not as sheep, but as lion. Jesus said the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that is what some people are doing in the church today. I tell you the truth. Heaven is not meant for lions. It is for sheep. The Lord will never allow you into his holy kingdom where there are sheep. Because there will be no destruction there. The church is the extension of God's kingdom on earth. If you are in the church and you still have powers to poison people, you have evil powers, you can mesmerize people, you can bewitch people, I tell you, you don't belong to the church. You belong to Satan, the devil, who is your father. I can come out today to tell you this because I have made up my mind. Let the bitter truth be said. There are lots of, many of you who belong to the devil and you are close to some pastors and men of God. I'm not talking to members alone. I'm also talking to men of God. There are some of you, you know who you are. You go to people and they praise you. They, people who say supposed pastors, supposed prophets, who see deep secrets, who see, who could even call the, the, the name of your great-great-grandfather and tell you the whole of their history, things you don't even know in totality, they could tell you through the spirits of discernment, but they will never tell you to repent, they will never tell you that you are a witch, they will never tell you that you are a wizard, they will never tell you that you have evil powers to poison people, that you visit witch doctors, that you go to the water kingdom to take power and dine with demons there, they will never tell you this, but they can tell you deep things about your life, you will all perish with them in hell. You better repent. You better repent. And for those of you who hide in the church, see, the Lord is not in a hurry to punish you. He will definitely punish you one day if you fail to repent. He is not in a hurry. You have not more than 120 years in this world. You have not more than 200 years in this world. But God has the whole of eternity to punish you. So he is not even in a hurry. You can come and as people worship, you can be, if you go to a church where the fire of God is not there, you can somersault and urinate on top of people's head and do whatsoever thing you want to do with your evil powers and manipulate people and even go to children's section and Bewitch them and initiate as many as you want. But I tell you, you have a time. I like Revelation. See, the last chapter makes it very, very clear. That let him that is holy be holy still. And let him that is filthy be filthy still. The Lord is coming. And he is coming soon to pay. He will give to every man according to his work. If you if you think if you can if you if you think that God is a merciful God and you will receive mercy from God on the judgment day on that great day that people 
will stand before him and people's knees will not be able to hold their bodies because the judgment of God is going to be so fierce. If you think that the Lord is going to, you, your eyes will secure mercy from the eyes of God that day. You better repent now. So if you think that you can harden your heart against all the thousands of messages you're hearing every day, people saying repent, you're over the radio, they are saying repent on the television, on the internet, everywhere in the church, people are saying repent, you do not repent, you can have, you have your own padlock, you can padlock your heart so that even when they are preaching, you don't care, if, and if you feel uncomfortable, you go to churches where they praise you, where they preach prosperity messages, and you, you don't care, you can padlock your heart and not repent at all. You pretend and put on religious makeup as a child of God. Meanwhile, you are in to destroy the children of God. I tell you, you have a time. You have a time. God has the whole of eternity to punish you and you will rot in hell. Because if you can destroy people and have no mercy, there are some of you who poison people and give people different kind of sicknesses. These people will be groaning in pain every day and you go to your covens, you go to your kingdoms to make sure that you derive more pleasure from their pains and because you are a sadist, you are the side of your father, the devil, who deserves, who, who derives praises, who derives joy from the from the tears of the children of God and from the tears of the world, of the people in the world. Because you do not have mercy at all. You can see those people. Sometimes you could even go to them and say, Hey, brother, sister, let's pray together. The Lord is going to do something. Meanwhile, you are the one. We've seen people. We've heard about people. Personally, the Lord has revealed people to me who will be the problem. They won't be witching a victim and they will be taking the person for prayers. You have a time and you are going to rot and perish in hell forever. If you like, come and attack me because that is what some people do. When you speak the truth, they come after you. But I, my belief, I believe the scripture, the Bible says, to live is Christ and to die is gain. That is the Bible. So I don't care what men can do to me. If God says, let me go, I will go. My own is that I have my battle to fight. I have my flesh to fight. I have the world to fight. I have sin to fight. It is a battle. I am making sure I fight my battle. But there are some of you, you don't care about eternity. You are in the church and you are in for evil. I'm not telling you that I'm righteous. I have my own battles to fight. Until I leave this world, every Christian have their own battles. We have our own struggles. But if you think that you are Alpha and Omega in this world and you can kill at will, you can poison people, yet you call yourself a Christian, heaven is not for you. Why don't you repent now? Nobody knows you. Nobody sees your heart. Nobody knows where you go in the night. Nobody knows when you visit the kingdoms of darkness and you visit witch doctors and visit different kind of people to get charms to protect yourself and to destroy people. Nobody knows. Nobody sees you. But there is one big guy high above. He sees you. Why don't you repent and give your life to Jesus Christ? A lot of times people, wicked people hear messages like this and instead of their hearts to be softened, their hearts become even more wicked. The book of Daniel says that the wicked shall continue to be wicked. That many shall be purified and made white, but the wicked shall not understand. The wise, the wise shall understand, but the wicked shall not understand. The wicked shall continue to be wicked. If that is a destiny you have chosen for yourself, good luck. I wish you good luck. You can kill as many as you want, but one day you will stand before the judgment seats of God. There are some of you who are females. There are some of you who are males. You go to the church. Not to worship God, but to seduce people. You want to bring someone down. There are some of you who have been spiritually equipped. Just looking at a child of God. If God is, if that child of God, if that person is not carrying the fire of God, the person could just be bewitched immediately. Just a handshake, you could be with somebody. I tell you, hell shall be more than enough for you. You go to the devil and practice your wickedness till eternity. Jesus Christ said, there are some of you who don't believe in hell. Jesus Christ said that where the worms, 
shall not die. Where the fire shall not quench. Whether you believe it or not, your belief has nothing to do with reality. This is God. This is the word of God. Repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. Share this message. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.